Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Nature is Phenomenal. Here are the most dangerous ocean creatures known to man. Cone Snail When thinking about the most dangerous sea creatures, snails are quite unlikely to come to mind. And that's why number 7 on our list might come to you as a surprise. Cone snails are only 10 to 15 centimeters long and look quite innocent, but a single drop of their venom is said to be enough to kill 20 men. If you are an enthusiastic shell collector, we recommend you handle these fellows with care. Cone snails are far from aggressive chasers, wouldn't work very well for a snail. Instead, they harpoon their prey with hollow teeth that inject lethal venom. Cone snails can be found in the deep reef waters all the way from the Indian and Pacific Oceans to the Caribbean and Red Seas, and also along the coast of Florida. But the ones lurking in the Indo-Pacific region tend to have much more harmful toxins than the others. We recommend not to try your luck anywhere with these creatures though. They are nicknamed cigarette snails, which is derived from the fact that after a sting, you'll have just enough time to smoke a cigarette before you die. The Great Barracuda How many of you have heard the horror stories about almost 2 meters long sharp-toothed barracudas that leap out of the water and seriously injure some unsuspecting people in boats? There is no such thing as flying killer fish, but number 6 on our list, the Great Barracuda, is known to have attacked humans. To make you feel better, you should know that these attacks are extremely rare and occur when barracudas try to steal prey from a spear, something us divers don't have to worry about. The appearance of these predators is more than likely to make you at least a little cautious though. The Great Barracudas have a body shaped like a torpedo and two rows of razor-sharp teeth. And if you need one more reason why you shouldn't try to make contact with these creatures, here's a good one. The Great Barracuda's flesh sometimes contain toxins which can cause serious symptoms from vomiting to leg weakness. And those symptoms can last more than three months. Flower Urchin Fifth on our list is Flower Urchin, which has made its way to the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's most dangerous sea urchin and not without reason. Flower urchin's sharp and extremely venomous spines make it the kind of creature you really don't want to step on. As you might have already learned the hard way, standing on a sea urchin is no walk in the park. Flower urchins are in a league of their own when it comes to painful defensive mechanisms. Unlike other sea urchins, the stings of these creatures not only hurt like hell, but they can also cause paralysis which may even lead to death. Stonefish The next predator on our list has a camouflage beyond compare, which adds to your danger if you happen to be a super venomous creature like a stonefish. Let us introduce you to number 4 on our list, the stonefish, also known as the most venomous fish in the world. These fellows might not be more than 30 to 40 centimeters long, but they are living proof of the fact that you don't have to be great in order to be a threat. The venom of a swordfish can cause excruciating pain, temporary paralysis, and even heart failure. Good thing there are some pretty effective antidotes available. The reassuring fact for divers is that stonefishes won't actually attack you. These creatures use their venom only as a defense mechanism and kill their prey with quick attacks instead. Blue Ring Octopus do you know what kind of creatures weigh only around 30 grams, but contain enough poison to kill over 20 humans? Third on our list is a tiny but deadly blue ringed octopus, whose paralyzing venom is 1200 times more powerful than cyanide, a type of creature you don't want to mess with. Good news is that these creatures don't want to mess with you either. They avoid any confrontation with humans and eject their venom only when provoked or stepped on. There is no effective antidote to the venom, and the only treatment is to treat the symptoms until the venom dissipates, which usually takes 24 hours. That's enough at least for us to not go after these fellows. Saltwater Crocodile No listing of predators is complete without some huge reptiles, right? 
The second place on our list goes unsurprisingly to saltwater crocodiles, which kill on average two people per year. These salties are branded as the most dangerous animal of Australia. That's really something, considering we're talking here about a continent infamous for its deadly fauna. Weighing up to 1,200 kilograms, saltwater crocodiles are the largest crocodilians on the planet. And with their size comes lethal power. Saltwater crocodile has the most powerful bite in the world, and its jaw has 10 times more strength than a great white shark's. Unlike other predators on our list, saltwater crocs are murderous on both land and sea. They might not be as fast on dry land as some horror stories tell, but they can swoop attack quicker than us poor humans can react. Box Jellyfish The most dangerous sea creature on our list might not have rows of razor-sharp teeth, or any visible mouth at all, but it has caused more human deaths in Australia than snakes, sharks, and saltwater crocodiles combined. These creatures are transparent and pale blue in color, which makes them almost invisible. It actually took quite a long time before anyone even realized what was causing unsuspecting swimmers and divers such agonizing pain. One box jellyfish contains enough venom to kill up to 60 people, and what makes them even more dangerous is their venom speed of acting. The sting of a box jellyfish can kill you in less than five minutes. Unlike other jellyfishes floating with the currents, these fellows can swim. Another trait that sets them apart from other jellyfish is their ability to see. They have clusters of eyes on each side of their box-shaped body. These abilities support the belief that instead of waiting for food to bump into their tentacles, box jellyfish might hunt for prey. Fortunately for us divers, their menu consists of small fish and shrimp, not humans. If you book a dive in Australia or tropical Southeast Asia, which is where these buggers live, we recommend you equip yourself with a sting protector, like this Hydra skin suit from Fourth Element. We hope this list of ours has not made you too scared to continue diving into the open ocean. Diving in a swimming pool might get you bored quite fast, and it's quite soothing to know that you are actually safer diving underwater than riding a bicycle on a city street. This is all for now, but stay tuned, fellow divers. Next time, we'll be covering the aspects of sustainable diving, where one basic principle is not to disturb any living creature underwater. Whether it's a great white shark, a stonefish, a tiny anemone, or bubbly brain corals under our fins. This principle will protect both us and the fragile underwater ecosystem where we humans are by far the most dangerous creature. This brings us to the end of the video. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Nature is Phenomenal to see more of our videos in the future. With that, see you in the next video.